Doctors and nurses go through years of training and education to save lives, but sometimes it takes more than that. About one in seven people who come through the doors of community hospitals require blood. And right now, more than ever, they need the public to roll up their sleeves and donate and address the critically low blood supply. President and the CEO of the Central California Blood Center, Christopher Staub, says the process for donating blood is not as intimidating as some make it out to be. It kind of literally feels like a pinch, I think, because I, I donate regularly, and uh, that's how I would describe it. Staub says the entire process is much easier than people think, and just one donation can save up to three lives. Most healthy people are eligible to donate. There are some exclusions, but um, they're, they're not that really not that many. After completing registration and a brief medical screening, the donation process takes about 15 minutes. Uh, we have a pint of blood from them and then they get bandaged up and hold their arm up for a little while. They'll have some cookies and juice and uh, they can go home in a little while. And although the process for donating may be an easy one, the need for blood is far more critical. Blood is right, the stuff of life, right? I, without it, can't live. Trauma surgeon Jordan Lilienstein says while some things can be produced in a lab, blood cannot. They're reliant on other people to, to supply it. So really you're reliant on other people's altruism to help out other people. And in cases of trauma, multiple units of blood are often needed to help emergency health care workers save lives. But maybe more interestingly is that about oh, 10 to 15 times a month we have to activate what we call our massive transfusion protocol. At times, additional units of blood are needed right away, especially if the hospital is treating a critically ill patient who needs a lot of blood. And those people can often go through 20, 30, 40 units of blood um, in a go, and so those people obviously are very sick and very reliant on the blood that we're giving them to stay alive. Every year, uh, we'd like to see 30 to 35 percent of all the blood donations come from first-time donors, people who've never tried it before. So I welcome anyone who's never tried it before. Uh, come into our centers, go to a mobile site, and be one of those people who can help us grow our blood donor base. To learn more on how to become a blood donor, visit Central California's Blood Center website, donateblood.org.